Hi everyone and welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video we're going to be doing a short feature on a brand new functionality that came to Game Maker Studio 2. We're going to be checking out the optional arguments as this is a nice change in the language. So let's roll the introduction and get right into it. I have a super simple project in front of me here. I have my object that has some hit points. We're gonna show those hit points to us. We're gonna apply some damage and then show them again. If I check out the script, all we're doing is taking those hit points and taking away the amount. So if I run my game right now, we should have 100 hit points. We'll apply the damage, which then we'll leave with 90. All right, so let's foresee in the future. We're working on our game. We're six months down the road. We have the supply damage. It's working great. We have, you know, a hundred different enemies. This is amazing. And then all of a sudden we decide that we need to add a multiplier in here. And we're like, okay, so we'll come into the apply damage and let's add a new variable called multiplier. And I want to say the amount times the multiplier. Great. Now I have to open up those hundred objects or I have to use my search and replace here to search for anywhere where I apply the damage. And for default, I just want the one, and this will work. So I can run my game, and we'll get the exact same results as we had before. However, this is very time-consuming, and it's probably not something you want to do. So luckily enough, Game Maker Studio 2 now has the optional parameters, which means that if we go to our Apply Damage script, we can assign a default to this multiplier. So to assign a default, all we have to do is put equals, and then whatever the default is. Now, if I go back to my object, you'll notice I don't have a warning anymore. And I hit F5, we'll have 100, take away 10 damage, and we'll have 90. But what this means is anytime that I want to use that actual multiplier, I can just actually pass it in. Now, when I hit F5, automatically, it's going to set the multiplier to 2. So we'll have 100, and then we'll have 80, because it's taken that variable in. And if we don't have it in, just like before, it's going to automatically set it to the variable of 1. And that's the super quick basics on optional parameters. You no longer have to worry about the argument count. You don't have to check if anything is null anymore. You don't have to use special use cases. Anyway, I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next video. I'd like to take a moment and thank you all for watching. A special shout out to the following users in no particular order. Paul, Robert, Victor, Annie, Darth Wolf, Ashby, Ian, Edward, and Angel. Everyone, thank you so much. Please like and leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. And please hit that notification bell.